so hot, but the spring's water is so cold. This is another secret of nature. Things aren't always the way that they look. True. Just like the way I feel right now. Do you want to know more about the secrets of this water? But I've only come to... Many past philosophers and physicians believed that the reason for the boiling of these waters and the flowing of the springs and canets on the ground is that when the stream gathers up under the ground because it is light and that there are many different empty spaces within its particles, it goes in one direction and when it gets cold, it turns into steam mixed with water. And when this water, which is mixed with steam, grows in size, the ground doesn't have the capacity to maintain it anymore. Therefore, the pressure of this water breaks open the ground and the water flows over it just like it would in a spring. If the water doesn't have enough pressure or the necessary motion, then to get hold of the water, you have to overcome some obstacles and dig a well. What can I say, Java? You know, at times you're in the sky with the star, and at times on the ground and searching among different things. And right now, you're busy with what's underground. I don't know when the time will come for me to... By the way, I wanted to ask you something. Did you put the things I'd given you in order? Yes. Mali hair. the days for hiding would come to an end. Then we would be able to do away with the Abbasid overnight, with the young people that we have given an education. Are you planning on repeating what Abu Muslim did? Be careful, tell the rest too. What Abu Muslim did was not approved by our leader Jafar ibn Muhammad. 
But everyone knows if it weren't for Abu Muslim, then the Abbasid just couldn't defeat the Umayyad and rule like this. Why do you think Imam Sadiq turned Abu Muslim away? Before he was caught up in Mansur Davanaki's plot, he went to the Imam and asked him to take over the Caliphate after the Umayyad. But the Imam refused. Then what do you say we do, Jabba? Just sit quietly and let these godless Abbasids become more powerful by the day and make things harder for us? The best thing to do these days is what my leader Jafar ibn Muhammad is doing. We have to spread our word, the word of the Prophet and his progeny. The message that has faded away in this terrible situation of trickery, plots, schemes and deceit. We have to introduce the real religion to the people. We have to acquaint them with the Prophet's traditions and help the people all across this land to rediscover the roots of the religion until it turns into a huge tree. So much so that neither the Umayyad nor the Abbasid or any other government can destroy its roots. What makes this tree unable to produce branches and leaves is the unawareness of the people when it comes to the principles of the religion. The principles that the Prophet of God was sent to us for. Today, ignorance has become a plague for the people. That is why... They are easily fooled by slogans of people like Abu Muslim and unwittingly follow the path of his ambitious ways. And that's why they think by bringing down the Umayyad they will satisfy Muhammad's progeny. And for what? Nothing. They replace them with the Abbasid. And the Abbasid rule easily relying on the people's lack of awareness. The situation of the people will not change unless they deal with this lack of awareness and ignorance. So it's best that we learn from the Prophet of God and the Imams after him and continue on their path. Now, this might lead to an uprising like Hussein ibn Ali's in Kabbalah or like today. The uprising will be what Jafar ibn Muhammad has ordered, spreading knowledge and information, an uprising against ignorance and lack of awareness. <laughs> As the Umayyad dynasty grew weaker, the Abbasid took the opportunity and, with the use of the slogan, Reza is from Muhammad's progeny, they brought down the Umayyad with the help of the people of Iran and Iraq. But after they gained full power, they began to put pressure on the followers of Imam Sadi. They did everything they could to make life hard for supporters of the Imam. Hey, you heathens! Why are you killing people like this? Have you no shame? Arrest every single one of them! Jabba fast and inform him of the danger. Their only intention is to kill Jabba. Take him to the hideout outside the city as soon as possible. Yes, go, yes. go, go from the roofs. I will stay and handle sure. them. Go, Wazo, okay. go! If we think like Plato did and consider the smallest constituent of ordinary matter, an atom, we must know that motion exists in the heart of that same small constituent. Motion and movement just like that of the stars and planets in the sky. Motion is the most important characteristic every element has. So you see, even in the smallest of creation, there exists motion, which is its most important characteristic. 
There is no inactivity and stagnation. I think the movement of the stars in the sky and the motion in the heart of atoms are very similar to each other. This similarity is a sign of God's glory in creation. Mankind just the same has to be in motion too to make any advancements. And just like I said before, man is God's representative in this world. He is a sign of the greater world. A world made up of the entire universe and creations. What helps this notion is wisdom. Mankind can make progress and advance towards the good by using wisdom. This is the true treasure. The treasure that can change mankind's inner self. This is what I have been looking for, for day and night for years. This is when a man turns into what God has said he will praise and say, So blessed is Allah, the best of creators. Open the door! Calm down, calm down! Who is it? What is it, Bozu? Why are you so anxious? The soldiers have attacked the Shia neighborhoods and they've started the terror all over again. Well, that is nothing new. This has been a tradition for years. When have Ali's Shias been at peace? But it's different this time. They've proclaimed the blood of Shias Halal and they do not want to leave any one of them alive. It is best you go home and take care of your family members. Go! There isn't much time. Don't waste time. Go! 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 Hurry up and go! Esmail! Esmail! Give these books to Abu Hamza. Tell him Jabba said to keep them until I get them back from him again, okay? Go, Very Esmail. Well, sure. God be with you. Take care of yourself. Goodbye. It's best you go too. Baruch has put me in charge of protecting you, so we can leave the city together. I have to go home. My mother is sick and needs to be looked after. Without a doubt, they've searched your entire house by now, and they're surely waiting for you. It's not right for you to go home, Jabba. Is it right to leave my mother alone with what's happened? Fine. Then just let things calm down a bit, and then we'll go together. I'm worried about her. Jabba, if they go to your house, they won't harm your mother. They will use her as bait for trapping you. So let's go to the hideout outside the city. After that, with the help of Farouk and the others, we'll go and find your mother. Very well. Let's go. Soldiers, search everywhere! He's not here. He got away. I'll find you. Even if you're hiding under a rock, I'll find you, Hyun Sun. Let's go. Search everywhere. Search the entire place. Where is he? Where? Do not waste our time more than this old woman. How should I know where he is, you heathen? What have we ever done for you to treat us like this? Don't you raise your voice? You've already committed enough crimes! Do you know what you're doing? You're insulting an officer of the law! You people can't be kept calm with words! You'll just use every opportunity to bring down the Caliphate, won't you? Now, will you tell us where your son is, or should I tell them to make you talk? That is not true. You asked a few times and I answered you. How should I know where he is? What has he done for you to be looking for him like this? He's busy with his books. He's not involved in bringing down the caliphate. His knowledge of books is far more dangerous than a thousand sharp swords. Now, if he had gone for a sword, I would have taken care of him myself. Hey, you idiots! 
Why are you just standing there? Why are you just wandering around? Go! Go and surround these neighborhoods with more soldiers! Go! Get out of here! Yes, sir! He'll eventually come. He will, I know it. For his mother's sake. <laughs> Thank goodness the wound isn't deep. This will hurt. God willing, with the medicine I put on it, it will heal soon. Oh, thank God. Orzo got to you in time and informed you. They were looking for you like hungry wolves. I am grateful that you were worried about me. A scholar and physician, who is a student of our leader, Imam Sadiq, is a gem among us. Whatever we have, heart and soul, we will sacrifice for you. Listen to me. Jabba, your life should not be in danger. All Muslims are proud of you, let alone Iran and Iranians. Uh I have to go. I cannot leave my mother alone any longer. It's dangerous, Jabba. It's best I send Bozu to see how she's doing. No. My mother is sick and alone. She needs her medication. I make it for her every day in order to control her illness. And if there is any danger, be it for me or Bozu, it makes no difference. Also, there is a hidden passageway which leads to our cellar from the alley. Very well. Now that you must go, there is nothing to say. Let's go. Let's go? Yeah. You mean you want to go alone? Of course. There's no need for you to risk your life. The things you say, Jabba. You want the shame? Of letting you risk your life when I was with you. To stay with me forever? There is no way I could do that. Carefully, if you don't speak by nightfall, me and my men have enough strength to make you talk with a whip, we do. But we will have mercy on you. I will give you another chance to talk and tell us where Jaber is. I sincerely hope you realize that killing you and finding Jaber's hideout isn't very hard for us. I am... I am not afraid of being killed by... Uh, heartless thugs... If you beat me till nightfall, I will still say I don't know where he is. Even if I knew, I assure you I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell you. So you won't tell us, huh? You won't talk? I'll make you talk, you fool! You stupid, stupid woman! You fool! I'll make you talk! I'll make you talk!
fight. Try to drag them down here. Go. Soldiers! If you're looking for me, I'm here. What do you want from my mother? You useless fools, you cowards! Is this the way you search an entire house? Get him before he gets away! Get him! Stop! 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 Just like you are, we will pray for her. God bless her kind soul. I think it's best you drink some water. Staying in Khorasan isn't right anymore. We'd better leave before we are persecuted any more by these heathens. And go where? Tabaristan. At the moment, it's the safest and best place I know of. Tiberistan is a safe and quiet place, but I suggest you go to Qom, or go to Kashan. 
It's a safe place for Shears, and the governors there don't persecute Shears like others do. You're going to Kom or Kashan? No. I'm going to Iraq. Either Basra, or maybe Kufa. You mean you want to leave us? We have no choice. We have a great responsibility. We have to tolerate great difficulties. Our departure is in a sense like years of worship. At least let us come to Iraq with you. We're strangers in Qom and Kashan. We can't do anything there. There's a man named Issa, son of Abdullah there. He's a follower of our Imam. I will write to him so he can welcome you. We will ride together till Qom. We can discuss things on the way. No. I'm taking a bypass. But why? Well, it's obvious. I am a problem. If I'm caught, the rest of the people with me will be in danger too. It doesn't matter, Jabber. We will risk the danger, but we won't leave you alone. Risk your life for our leader, not for a petty follower like me. By the way, our lives are in God's hands. What's important is the duty that we have. Ozu, we will rest too. Tomorrow we will go to Ku Dasht. Get up, Tell friends, everyone to rest too. Get up and rest. We will leave Khorasan tomorrow. Rest well, my friends. Khorasan wasn't able to protect a gem like you. I was not fortunate enough. You and your family have lost your home for supporting me. You know, it is an honor for me to wander the deserts for a person like you. Forgive me, Sudabe. What for? I've told you many times before, married life requires peace, and it seems it is not meant for me to have it. This is because of my bad luck. It has nothing to do with your destiny. Maybe the two had come together so that someone better than me can be your husband. I wish you hadn't said that, Jabba. I have been through so many difficulties in my life that I will be able to find peace in your world. But I am not so selfish to ruin the peace that you have in your life. And I'm not so cruel to see you wander the desert. It's obvious I wasn't able to make you trust me. I wasn't able to prove myself to you. I do trust you. You are praiseworthy, I'm sure about that. But the path that we will have to take is my destiny. It's not meant for you. Very well. Fine, Jabba. Until your return to Iran, I will wait for you. <laughs> well, Jabba. We'd better leave before we get into trouble. Yes. We will separate here. May God be with you.
We will miss you, Jabba. God willing, this separation will be over soon, and we will see each other. <sighs> when you get to Com, give this letter to Issa, son of Abdullah Komi. Give him my regards. God willing, when I get to Iraq, I will write to you again. You should inform me of how everything is going. See you soon. Uncle! Uncle Jobert! Yes, son. You want to leave? Yes, my dear. You forgot this? You can keep it. You have to return what you've borrowed. But you didn't borrow it. It's a gift from me to you. Accept it. Accept the gift, son. It's a blessing. Thank you very much. Go. Farok, you know well that Suda Bey and her family have no one. After God, I trust you to take care of them. Don't you worry, Jabba. I will protect them like my own. See you soon, Farok. If you see our leader, give him our regards. Very well. God be with you, Farok. Goodbye. 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 Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! my master. Master! Wait, Shoki. Yes, my lady. What's going on? Uh, you know, I mean, uh, how can I say this? Uh, I, uh, I don't know. Uh, I, uh, hello, my master. Hello. Come inside. Yes, master. Excuse me, my lady. What's going on? Is Abu Rafi's caravan here? Yes, it did. But how, Master? One of them was killed and a number of others were wounded. Abu Rafi himself barely made it out alive. The caravan was ravaged, Master, really. Didn't I say they should enter Basra from the north? Why on earth did they pass by these heathens? Don't they know that the east is unsafe? I'm sorry, but it was not my fault, Master. In fact, when they were on their way to Pars, I sent them a messenger and informed them of your suggestion. Even though it took a day longer, Abu Rafi came from the direction you suggested. The north, like you said, sir. Just like you said. Then why did the bandits attack them? That is exactly why we were surprised. Zobair the bandit has become a lot more dangerous. He absolutely doesn't care about anything anymore. He's even started killing people. He's absolutely everywhere. That merciless man used to respect me and was more respectful. 
This kept me thinking for a while. Do you know what the merchandise was? No, sir. I sent Habib and Khalid to see what's happened and check on Abu Rafi. Master, you'd best not get yourself upset. I'm sure they're worried about how you will react. I'm sure of it, Master. Very well. Be careful, Zofa doesn't find out. She will only make trouble. Yes, Master. Someone has to come along and get rid of you for good. I know what to do with you. What on earth are you going to do, girl? Why did you get up, Mother? Mother, you know that walking is very dangerous for you. Do you want to make yourself sicker every day? You didn't answer me. I said, what are you going to do? Don't worry yourself, Mother. I assure you. I only have good things on my mind. What good is this that has you carrying a bow and arrows and a dagger? It's best you rest, Mother. And stop worrying about me. I'll be fine. Zolfa! Unless I know what you have in mind and where you're going, I won't let you leave this place. I don't have time to explain right now. I don't have much time. Leave it to later, Mother. Wait! You are the only joy I have in life. I don't want anything to happen to you. Hello, Father. Hello. Thank goodness you are home. Hello. What's going on here? Is there a war I don't know about? Or do you intend on joining the bandits from Basra to be dressed like this and carrying weapons? Huh? How much longer do I have to wait and hear about your caravans being robbed every day, Father? Don't remind me of it, my child. It has always been the same. The caravans have always encountered bandits in the deserts. The reason for it is the incompetence of the people who have to maintain order. They are complicit or don't have the courage to face the bandits. Tell me, are you planning on punishing them? Huh? If you give me permission, yes. Why not? Instead of that, you'd best take care of your mother. She's not well. War and jihad are not for women. Even if there are no more men to fight, father. Is that a jibe, girl? Let's go, mother.